I believe that we need to do a better job of informing the public at large of what we are seeing, removing some of the mystery about the global terrorist threat and what we are doing about it and what we're asking the public to do. So I'm hoping that I will announce this in full in the coming days. What this entire wave of events does highlight is the need for a whole of government approach when it comes to terrorist inspired attacks. A terrorist inspired attack is one that you don't necessarily have a lot of advance notice of. Our intelligence community has developed a pretty good system for detecting overseas plots at their earliest stages. The terrorist inspired attack domestically is a harder challenge. It could happen at a moment's notice with little or no notice to our law enforcement and intelligence community, which is why a whole of government approach enhancing our law enforcement efforts and enhancing our efforts to counter violent extremism here in the homeland are becoming all the more important, as well as public awareness and public vigilance. In the current environment, <clears throat> the answer cannot be to vilify all American Muslims uh, or to drive them into hiding in this country. Uh, now more than ever, we need to work with the Muslim community. Uh, and it's not just a, it's not a monolith, it is communities across the country um, to encourage them to help us help them if they see somebody traveling in the wrong direction in their own community. It is the case almost always that when someone has self-radicalized and is turning to violence, there is somebody else that sees the signs. And so we need to build bridges, build relationships with Muslim communities across this country and not vilify them, not drive them in the exact opposite direction. I think that would be hugely counterproductive to our effort. Uh, the overwhelming, overwhelming majority of Muslims from whatever continent, from whatever nationality, uh, are people of peace. And their community is being targeted by the Islamic State. And so we need to work with them to build bridges, to heighten awareness, to help them develop the message counter to ISIL. And I've been at this uh, since I've been secretary, and I'm going to continue on this because it's becoming all the more important.